Years later, it's a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Stinks on a Plane. It was released on August 18, 2006. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> what year? No, what? Year is it? Before watching this movie, the one thing I knew about this film was that infamous Samuel L. Jackson line. Aside from that, you know, Sticks on a Plane, I knew nothing about this film and, you know, it was alright. I mean, I don't know. It's another film where I haven't had to say about because it is just a chaos film where, you know, there's build up, there's characters. Mainly, the most memorable is Samuel L. Jackson, but aside from that, other characters are expendables. You know, they're just, they're kind of there to die or survive or add some kind of emotional element or a useless emotional element. They didn't do it for me, but Samuel L. Jackson did. I like completely forgot about that one guy that Samuel Jackson has to take in. What's his name? It's like this blonde guy. You see his father gets killed by this Japanese or Yakuza looking guy. He has to run away from them. Samuel Jackson saves him from dying. That's in Hawaii by the way. They start and end the movie in Hawaii. Everything else is basically airports or little houses or cop stuff and an airplane on a set. I do like the montage of the characters that we meet. So we meet these three black guys. That one guy is like a celebrity I think. We meet this lady with her dog which I do find messed up and kind of funny in a later day. Uh, you got Samuel Samuel Jackson's cop friend and his buddy. You've got, oh god, who else? The horny couple, which, you know, they're gonna die first, obviously. You've got, who else do you have? Uh, that guy that plays a PSP, which dates itself. PSP. This guy playing that damn PSP. This is definitely mid 2000s. PSP and DS were like a huge thing at the time. You got the flight attendants, and the only actor I know is the one old lady who is in the Insidious movies, the one that can like sense and see ghosts. She's like in this movie. There are two phobias in this film snakes flying in a plane, which some people find very scary. So, this movie is probably scary for some people with phobias of snakes and lined up in the air but seeing that old lady from the insidious movies in this movie threw me off i was like is she like gonna sense that there's snakes or something but no she was just kind of there for her paycheck because this movie has nothing for her to do and then there's a bomb within the plane in the pets section area it blows up and then all of these cg looking snakes they all start coming out or at least i'm assuming like most of the snakes in this film have to be cg there are a few shots where it looks real like they actually shot like a snake a real snake a little one or a big one and just put it in the film but aside from that everything else is cg and it looks fine like there's certain points where it looks awful when it's biting people like horny couple first dies in that bathroom it doesn't look the best so after all of that after the introduction and pan out to the characters that we're gonna meet who are just gonna die who i don't care about and the snakes coming out it starts out with a horny couple dying and then slowly but surely snakes get everywhere who are hanging out the little dog notice it and whatnot and then once you know everyone notices they start freaking out everyone starts dying here and there the bites are actually kind of brutal i don't know the rating for this movie i'm assuming it's rated r if it's not pg-13 i'd be shocked but you know it is bloody here and there they have to like a build a wall and barrier at some point because they need to keep the snakes out and then it's like breathing time so everyone freaks out it's chaos and it's breathing time turns out someone put pheromones in the plane as samuel jackson calls his cops buddies on why snakes attack they only attack if they feel threatened by humans or whatever i don't know if that's true or not if it is true that's cool just cool like a you know real thing but if it's not i don't care because samuel jackson is the only character that i like and then they try the whole emotional thing with samuel jackson and his, you know flight attendant person i don't really care and then the venomous thing that bites these people I do like the effect like his cop body dies and his body and torso purple and poison up that was actually really cool and so after that the whole movie is essentially something happens everyone freaks out and it's breathing time and then it kind of repeats back and forth whether it's just you know relaxing time or someone freaking out seeing it for the first time was cool seeing that you know multiple times after that got really boring and repetitive so it's one of the reasons why this film didn't really work for me it was just like okay yeah over and over again and it reaches to that infamous Samuel Jackson line enough is enough I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Amazing scene. The one quotable line, the one best moment in the film. Because, you know, it's Samuel Jackson. He says motherfucker a lot. He's great. And then the black guy who's playing the PSP, which is the fact that, you know what? I can fly this plane because all the pilots are dead. And he reveals later, the only reason he even knows how to fly is because of flight simulators, which I find hilarious. You only know how to fly a goddamn plane because of playing a goddamn video game. He lands them safely, quoted safely, at the airport headquarters. Don't, do they kill all the snakes? I mean, they probably get rid of all the snakes and then oh i forgot to mention that one big ass cg snake that's a big ass snake this cg looking snake you know it, it looked fine it didn't look horrible like this way like i think the anaconda cg stuff looks way better like it's horrible than this so the right for a like, big cg snake and then i guess the end of the movie the little boy or little blonde boy that he hasn't taken on his venture with asking for a favor and then, then they go back to hawaii to end the movie off surfing so i don't know this i wasn't really feeling this movie sammy l jackson is clearly like the best part because it's sammy l jackson aside from that again the other 
the characters. Oh yeah, I haven't forgot to mention the way that dog dies is messed up. But when that flight attendant throws the dog for baits and it eats the dog, my first reaction was to laugh because I find it funny that it was so messed up. He just like, okay, here, dog sacrifice, go over there. Like obviously it's messed up, but I just laughed at it first. It was hilarious, but messed up. So snakes on a plane, 15 years later. Does it hold up? I guess it holds up, but it's a really boring film. It holds up in being like not a bad film. It doesn't hold up in being like an entertaining film aside from one line in Samuel L. Jackson. So if that makes any sense, like it holds up, but also doesn't. Like it's not a bad film where it doesn't hold up. It does, but it's a really boring film. That makes sense, right? It makes sense. So that's it for me. This has been The World So Far, and thank you for watching.